There we go. Whoa. <laughs> that is pretty long. There's still quite a lot of dirt on the wall. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today I've got my big hose with me because I've got a big mess. Look at my disgusting driveway. Look at my disgusting walls. Disgusting everything. Wait, so wait, 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 you. wait, 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 wait. Stop the press, stop the press. That's not a hose. This is a hose. Ash, be a real man and use this. Whoa, what's that? This is called a pressure washer. All right, today we're going to be doing a hose versus pressure washer side by side comparison to show you if the Karcher K2 is K2 for you. There's a couple of versions, there's the K2, and the K2-2, and the K3, and there's like K4. It's like going to school in America, lots of Ks. This is the basic one, but it has an extra attachment, which is for like, scrubbing the floors of patios. You get a handle, and you get another handle, hose. And you get some wheels, and you also get the piece de resistance. Oh, look at this. That this is nice. Karcher, the number one brand. On the bottom here, you need to place your two wheel. Bam, just like that. It's now time to affix the ones. You got two different nozzles. So one is like a, a direct stream and the other one is like a an exciting stream. So I'm gonna go for the exciting stream and I'm just gonna slip it on like so. There we go, whoa. <laughs> That is pretty long. That is impressive. So this attachment, gold in the back. All right, you've done that. I've worked out how to do this. You pull down this yellow little slidey thing, like so. It doesn't come out all the way, but you can just slide it back on. And then it opens up the hole, and that's where you stick in your hose. There we go, and then you slide it back on and you are locked into place. I love it. That's all the way in. So you push it really firmly in and then you place down the gray bit. You shouldn't be seeing any of the metal coming out of the hose. Okay, so now that's all set up. What you'll see on the back is a detergent dispenser. If you do want to use this with detergent, you can just put a little bucket here or a little, um, I guess a cup. It will automatically suck it out, but I'm not using that. So what you can do is push it back into the machine and make it look pretty. Just push it all the way back inside. And you are now ready for action once you have plugged it in. Ooh, yeah. I'd say it's about at least two of me, maybe four to six meters of cable. So I've backed that up with a 25 meter extension. Cable goes for a tenner. I'm gonna plug it in and boom, the power is now ready to go. Of course, we're playing with water, so try not to spray the water on the electricity cable. Otherwise you're in for a shocker. So I like this hose because it's pretty powerful. Obviously it depends on the amount of water pressure you have coming out of your taps. I get a really strong stream of this. Now I'm gonna go to a difficult area and that is this muddy pile on my driveway. Don't ask me how it got to this mess. Oh my God. So let's see how well this regular hose does on this driveway. It is able to move the dirt along. I am about about five meters away from the dirt pit and that's where it's getting a bit weaker. Let's see how it does on the walls. That looks like it's point of failure. It really can't handle the walls. The walls of Cairo is just a bit too strong. Deluxe paint, no longer deluxe. So we see how it features with the Karcher. Thanks Ash. The good thing about this Karcher is that it uses a standard hose. So all you have to do is just uncap it like so and then place it in the back of your Karcher and you're good to go.
got on hard mode and we're gonna see how well it does with this mud on the left side. And uh, first observations is the hose definitely got a further reach. It was able to push the mud in a further distance a lot quicker. This is a lot slower. The, the issue with this, I think, is that you have to be really close to the mud in order for it to work because once you press the button, okay. the jet kind of only gets strong for about, say, 30 centimeters. Then after 30 centimeters, it loses its stream. So I didn't get as much of a uh, length as Ash did when he did the hose. Now let's see how it performs on the wall. There's still quite a lot of dirt on the wall. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. Oh, you get really close. All right, so to clean stains off the walls, I don't even know if the finish is that good because I can still see a lot of mud. Yeah, you just need to just get up close and precise with every single piece of detail i'm going to get really close with the hose and see if i could have done that naturally it definitely does a much better job than using a standard hose there's a lot of pushback and spray it was a bit of a messy but with the archer pressure washer you could clean it and it wasn't such a wet job I've been giving it real up close and personal and I'm still unable to remove that yellow tinge, the mud from the wall. So I think, I think for walls, especially white ones, you're either going to need to constantly have a stack of paint ready to go back on the wall once it gets muddy or you're going to need a more powerful unit. There's still quite a lot of dirt on the wall.